we're not all the ideal for peak humid athletic performance. Sometimes we get old and fat. And sometimes we have to think of new ways to do an old trick. So I'm gonna give credit to my friend John. I know he's watching this because he just had surgery on his foot and he has nothing else to do. He helped me with front blunts because I was trying to pop out of them. I was trying to do them the right way. And the last time I skated with him, he showed me, you don't have to do them the right way. You can cheat. So I was using a freestyle board with nose and tail plates. These things are really hard to pop out of on blunts because they kind of get stuck in it. They don't actually allow you to pop out. I was trying to do backside blunts here and I saw John doing some front blunts. He's regular footed. So he's hanging his foot off. He was just getting into a front blunt and just turning out of it. So I tried to do that on this side. I always kind of struggled with front blunts over here on this side because I was always trying to pop out of them and half the time I would just get no pop. But if you just get into them and pivot out of them, it's easier than backside blunts. It's easier than regular blunts over on this side. It's like the easiest version of the trick and it feels so good. And it actually feels really satisfying. So sometimes you don't feel like skating. Sometimes you don't feel like popping an ollie, but there's always a way out. So if you don't feel like ollieing that day, say you worked on your feet all day, you're really tired, your feet hurt, you can skate transition. So find a nice mini ramp or build a nice mini ramp if you don't have one and just skate mini ramp. You don't actually have to ollie. Or if you have a skate park like this, you can do manuals. This skate park is great for not ollieing at all, just doing manuals all day. What would you guys do if I started cutting my hair like this? and calling myself the top skateboard G in all of my videos. Would you guys uh, abandon my channel or would you guys stick with me? Another hack if you're getting worse at skateboarding is skate smaller things. Like if you're getting bad at skating transition, skate smaller ramps. Also a bigger board makes a smaller ramp feel smaller and a smaller board makes a smaller ramp feel bigger. You know, that has something to do with it too. Same thing with a manual pad. You could skate smaller manual pads if you're having trouble skating a regular size manual pad. There's always some kind of adjustment that you can make to still be able to skate and still be able to progress and, and do what you've always done. No matter how old you get or how fat you get. Now, again, I'm not trying to say that being fat is a positive thing. Being fat is a negative thing. Um, I agree with Tom McDonald when he says um, the things that a fat person can't do is jumping jacks, run a mile, live past 42. And that's just true. It's not shaming. <laughs> There's no shame. It's just telling the truth. Also, not voting for a disabled person who just had a stroke for mayor or governor or president. That's not ableist. That's just smart. Another good trick to cheat at is nose manuals. You don't actually have to ollie into nose manuals. I feel like the iPhone is the worst phone to film with right now because the light is getting bright and then getting dark and then getting bright and getting dark and the adjustments that it does are just horrendous. Watch my face like is radioactive. <laughs> oh, it's glowing and it's part of, oh, there's so much detail lost. This is the worst camera for this kind of a shot. I guess I could film from down here. So what do you guys think about Kanye lately? You think Elon's gonna save the world or is he the Antichrist? I just saw a deer far off running in the distance in this field. I'm actually kind of pale. My beard and my face are not orange. I know they keep turning orange on this iPhone. See like that? It's kind of crazy. I'm not actually orange promise. So for some people skating smaller boards helps, for some people skating bigger boards helps, you know, whatever helps you actually be able to progress and feel comfortable skating, because that's the only way you're going to actually go out and skate. So sometimes when you're a man, you wear stretchy pants, and sometimes when you're old, you do nolly shoves that don't actually pop. Nolly shoves are a great old man trick. They're great if you don't want to actually pop your board or you have really sore knees or ankles, do some gnarly shoves.
Another way to find a new way to skate is try a totally different kind of skating. Try freestyle skating. Mode makes these really cool freestyle boards and sometimes when I don't feel like skating, I can still skate really well on a freestyle board. They're smaller, they're easier to flip around. Uh, if you just wanna do some quick flip tricks or flat ground stuff, try a freestyle board. I had lights on this phone the whole time and I never thought to use them. I don't know how you guys get old. I roll my ankle doing a front side flip and it feels like I rolled it going down a concrete vert ramp. I don't know, I just, I don't have to actually do anything. I just get old. And there's just, it's not even that hard. It just happens. I can't imagine how you feel. It must be like pain just to walk every day. Do I really look that old? Do I look that bad? People say stuff like this to me. How old do I actually look? Like 29. 29. It's not that bad. It is. So what's a trick that you feel like you can do even when you're getting old and you're tired? Wally. Completely. You know, I did a complete flip and landed on my back and the back of my head over there by the grass like on the corner of the skate park today the skate park is cursed the Halloween demons have gotten into all the kids from all the candy and they passed into the skate park I feel really bad when I make somebody skate and they fall and they're really nice they're really nice to me the whole time and then they leave yeah that just happened Einstein said Doing the same thing and expecting a different outcome is the definition of insanity. So I made a video with the stern father energy where I was like, you can do it, don't give up. And now I guess I'm being a nurturing mother and being like, you know what, you guys, take it easy. I'm probably confusing you guys really bad, but sometimes you actually have to find a different way to accomplish your goals because the way you've been trying over and over and over just isn't working. So I have a friend, I'm not gonna mention any names because this is a horrible story, uh, but this guy's girlfriend broke up with him and he's just crying and whining and complaining and um, making himself look weak in different ways. And it's just never going to work. This has been going on for a few months. Some people don't understand female nature. Uh, if a female sees you cry, she's going to lose respect for you. You have to be strong when you're trying to win somebody back. You know, you probably shouldn't even try to win somebody back. You should just move on, give up. Uh, <laughs> unless you really, really believe that you two work well together and you know then then you should never give up on somebody uh, if you really do love somebody but these days uh, most people aren't really in love most people are in lust and it's the same thing with skateboarding sometimes you have to just go a different way uh, if you're trying the same trick for too long and you keep messing up you might have to try a different trick because you're drilling that into your muscle memory uh, that you should be doing it wrong like that. So sometimes it's good to just try something else for a little while and come back to that trick. <laughs> if something's not working, you gotta come at it a different way. Like if you've been working the same dead-end job for 10 years, you're never gonna get rich working that dead-end job. Sometimes you might have to start a business. You might have to do something different. You might have to be an entrepreneur. You might have to do something dangerous. You might have to take a risk. Sometimes you have to take a risk in skateboarding. Sometimes you have to take a risk in your career. Whenever I think about this topic, my friend Gosh Darn It on Instagram always comes to mind because he really inspires me with this kind of skating. So like no comply tricks, freestyle tricks, tricks where you use your hands a little bit more, tricks where you take a foot or both feet off the board. Uh, that would be this kind of trick. So look at someone who skates differently, who thinks differently, like Rodney Mullen or Andy Anderson or Louis Barletta. That's an old one before you guys were born. So look at someone who's overweight or non-athletic, but they're really good at skating and see how they do it. There's always a way to cheat. You can watch me. 
I'm overweight and not that athletic anymore. But I definitely land a lot of tricks. I have my own way of doing it. I have my own way of skating. I think that's the reason a lot of you guys watch this channel. Because I try to be creative with my skating. And even though I'm not that athletic, I can do a lot of tricks. Is that a humble brag? I don't know. I'll try to get some more how-to videos out soon. I filmed a switch flip video and a heel flip video I haven't put out yet. Have to edit them. I've been working full time, so I've had a hard time editing. I've been editing these clips on my phone. Oh, you ever want to get home and just put your feet up in the air? But you know, you just got to go out and skate. There are people that don't have feet. There are people that don't have legs, and they still skate. So you can figure out how to do a trick a little bit differently. So I hope this video was helpful to you guys. I hope somebody got something out of it. If you did, leave a like. Scroll through my channel, check out my other videos. Check out my eBay and my e-commerce store in the description. Also some of the products I've got listed in there. And hit that subscribe button because I've got a lot more videos like this to come. Thanks for watching.